What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Machiavelli, and now I'm back with another reaction video, man. This is Side Guru. Uh, benefits of raw food over cooked food. Now, before I start this video, man, I have heard some, you know, some things online, because, you know, I do a lot of research, man. So, you know, I try to figure out what's best for me, what's going to give me the energy throughout the day, what's gonna make me healthy you know what i mean like because there'd be some days like we eat cooked food i know from my experiences when i eat cooked food i feel lazy tired don't want to do nothing but you know raw food which i've also had an experience with trying um I'm, I'm i'm just energized so i did my research man and a lot of people say that raw things or was best rather than cooked or fried whatever whatever we eat you know Whatever the things that we love to eat, but it's not good for us, you know. But without further ado, man, let's get into the video. When we say health, if someone says you have no ailment, it does not mean you're healthy. When you wake up in the morning, are you feeling alive and bouncy or not? The word health comes from the word whole. You must have a certain sense of wholeness of body, mind, energy and the fundamental nature of your existence. If all these things are in alignment, now when you wake up in the morning, you feel like you're just born. If this happens to you, that means you're healthy. One simple thing all you girls can do is just bring forty to fifty percent of the food in its raw form, that means it's alive. It must be a live cell, it can be a vegetable, it can be a fruit, it can be a nut, it can be sprouted gram. At least forty to fifty percent, the food that you eat must be alive. You eat dead food and you want to live, this is a little difficult thing to do because you have to raise the dead now. <laughs> yeah. And I never looked at it like that either. You know, like, you know, I mean, I'm just being honest, bro. Like, you know, a lot of people we love, Things like chicken, burgers, fries, um, fish, fried fish. But then you have to ask yourself, would you eat it if it was alive, as if it was like you're still living, you know? When you cook the food, to digest the food, all the ingredients necessary for digestion are not in the body alone. The food also brings the enzymes. When you cook the food, you are largely destroying these enzymes, minus the enzymes when you eat. Now the body has to struggle to reconstruct that part that has been destroyed and then only it can digest. Normally first one, one and a half hours after eating, it tends to take the body down. Mm -hmm. After that slowly it recovers. Have you noticed this? So food is for energy but we are making the food in such a way that uh, it takes away energy in the first one and a half hours. Yep. Only after that, slowly, it comes back. Anyway, however good your digestive process is, still you can never reconstitu reconstitute all the enzymes that we have destroyed by cooking. Only partly we can do that. If your digestive process is very strong and good, you reconstitute about forty to fifty percent of what's been destroyed. If it is a little timid kind of digestion, it's much less. So whichever way, if you're eating cooked food, fifty to sixty percent of the food that you're eating is generally going waste, but the body has to still process that. And the amount of energy that it spends and the amount of trauma that it goes through is very big. Food means many things to many people, but essentially for the body, it's the fuel. If you put the right kind of fuel, this will be on in a certain way. If you put the wrong kind of fuel, somehow it will manage. I'm t not telling you eat this way, eat that way. Just experiment and see, all right? Yeah, all right, no. Just experiment and see. Tonight if you go, Instead of eating whatever cooked food, just eat fruits and see, tomorrow morning you will not need an alarm bell, you will wake up before the alarm bell. Mm -hmm. 
And you will see all these eyes will not be sticking like this, like that. You wake up, instantly you're bright and alert. People do not know what it means to be at absolute ease within their body. Ninety-five percent of the people do not know this, unfortunately. <laughs> because you put the wrong kind of fuel, you can keep this body like breeze. Simply it goes ahead of you, you don't have to drag it wherever you go. It must float ahead of you. You can do this just putting the right kind of fuel. Like I say, man, it's not much different than what I said. Like, I've experienced it a week of this and a week of that. Two separate weeks off from those two different things and food. So, and yeah, it's a big difference. Very big difference. You won't find yourself dragging. You won't find yourself being lazy. So, you guys already know what to do, man. But I, you know. But if you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up, like, comment, share my other gang. We have out of here now. Love you guys. You guys have a blessed one, a safe one. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.